What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash Derek. Today we're talking about how to bring down Town Hall 10 bases with damage CCs. So often a Town Hall 10 and really any Town Hall level, one of the biggest determining factors of how we attack the base is what we think is in the CC. If we know it is a Hound, then we're going to avoid a lot of these strategies and we're going to go to a lot of our air strategies like Electron or Dragbat or Miners or something like that that will not pop the Hound and will never have our Queen get stuck on the Hound and if we have a damage CC with witches, baby dragons, Valkyries, E drags, anything like that, then we're going to stick to these strategies right here. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's go check these out. Also, guys, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because the last attack strategy that we're looking at today, we're going to be doing it live in war. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Don't miss it. All right. So the first attack strategy that we're looking at today is the Go Hobo attack. The Go Hobo is probably the staple of attack strategies when we have a damage CC. Sometimes you can get the strategy to work when you have a hound in the CC as well, but it is a little bit riskier. You're going to run into some problems because when the queen goes into the base, if the hound comes out of the CC, you're not going to be able to take it out with just a poison. So basically, you're going to be stuck with that queen fighting the hound for like half the battle while the bowlers and the king continue on and they're going to run out of value up ahead there and they're going to have no support from that queen. But if there is a damage CC, E-drags, dragons, witches, anything like that with that poison and especially when adding in that extra freeze right there, we're going to be able to take that down and that queen will be able to immediately rejoin with the group and she's not going to be stuck back there for 30 40 seconds fighting off the hound and then all of the pups and that is why we use this strategy against a uh, or really all of these strategies against a damage cc and that's that's the main thing going into it if we have a hound in the cc we're going to stick to air strategies that never pull the hound out but when we encounter a hound in these strategies it massively uh, hinders them. I'll, it's ridiculous. It ties up your queen for so long and removes all of her value. And she's the biggest firepower you got on your base. So he had bowlers come out of his CC. And if you use bowlers as opposed to Valkyries, then you need to use a heal on them. If you have Valkyries come out, then you're going to be able to use a... Uh, you're going to be using just a rage. If you have bowlers, use a rage and a heal to keep them alive. So he's going to get out of this one with a swag heal. He's got excuse me, a swag uh, queen ability. I mean, his both of his heroes survive. He has a ton of hogs left over. He saved a wizard for cleanup. Probably should have left two wizards for cleanup just in case. You never know if you're going to time fail with this attack. But he crushed it here. Airwalks bringing it in. And now we're going to go look at the next attack strategy. Also, guys, I forgot to mention during that last one, the Go Hobo, that that attack strategy also works really, really well against ring bases and single infernos. If you're going to do it with a single inferno, then reallocate the freeze that he put out of CC and throw it on the single inferno to protect the wall wrecker at the beginning. But other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same. But now we got the P.E.K.K.A. Bobat coming in by Northern Pork here. So the setup for this one is pretty much the same. Instead of using golems and wizards, we're going to use P.E.K.K.A.s and wizards, and we're going to collapse those P.E.K.K.A.s to all come and meet together and follow the wall wrecker into the base if some of them escape and they run off there not a huge deal they will eventually rejoin or they will start clearing trash on the side either way you should get some uh some value out of them hopefully and then we can have the bowlers the wall wrecker the healers and the heroes charge into the base here we poison the cc and once again because it is a damaged cc we're going to be able to burn through it pretty much with just the poison and then the bowlers getting some splash damage is going to be make a move even faster but the queen is not going to get stuck fighting a hound for like the whole minute while everything else uh, runs off and ditches her. So she's going to be able to get full value here as everything else is continuing forward with the healers, keeping them all alive here, getting as much splash damage off of the base as he can. And I don't even think he needs the bats on this one because he's reached all the splash damage. He had so much punch and he can move so quickly through the base when there's not a a hound in the CC. This is why it works so well. He doesn't even need the freezes. He has a swag queen ability. He has absolutely blown this one out of the water just into cleanup, but the bats can move into cleanup. And guys, it just when they have a damage CC, that's why that's why when we play in the competitive scene, we see so many hound CCs because strategies like this just wreck them. Like this not even it's barely a challenge. And sometimes the air strategies that we use that uh, 
The air strategies that we use that we use to combat hounds in the CC often are weak against these damage CCs. So it's kind of a gamble sometimes, and if you know it's in the CC, then we can go pick it apart. So that's why a cleanup attack is always so much easier than a fresh attack. And if you can uh, kind of judge the base, you can often see what the weaknesses is, and you can try to predict what the opponent might put in a CC if they're actually thinking about it. If it is a noob clan, they're probably just running damage CCs, and you can just throw these strategies at them all day. But let's go get the next one. All right, guys, next up, we got Frozen Witch, one of my favorite Town Hall 10 attack strategies, and it is one of the strongest against damage CCs once again. So as we move through, this attack strategy does have the punch that it can take out a Hound CC and not delay the Queen too much. Because you have the Witches going into the middle, you're going to be able to get a little bit of extra damage to bring down the Hound faster. And that will speed her along and potentially catch her back up. But ultimately, the Hound is going to create a delay if there is one. So we drive in the main push here. We have uh, four to five Witches with two healers on each side. And then we have the rest of the troops go right up the gut. And we use the, we use the Freezes to protect them. Try to group as much as you can with every Freeze. And this attack strategy will definitely improve your Freeze skills. And you'll be able to find out exactly the range of your Freezes. And you'll learn to be able to catch as much in every single freeze as possible to get big big value out of them so he's going to continue freezing here as soon as that wall wrecker opens up he has a rage and a heal on it that is mainly for the bowlers to be able to just go through and wreck that area you don't want to use the rage and the heal early if you use it early then it's not going to be there for the bowlers when they come out and the bowlers uh, they go off like a bomb when they actually uh, come out of that cc so you have to make sure that you keep them all together so now with nowhere else to go those troops are going to end up exiting the core of the base there and break to the outside but they have gone through and gutted the core of the base which is exactly what we need and they're going to exit and join in with the flanks luckily they go to the side that still has a standing healer the other side lost their healers so the right side is going to break down and he'll have the left side to continue on with the heroes and the bowlers that came out of the cc that healer that is still standing is going to be able to heal any troops that are getting being down by that multi inferno if it was a single inferno there then it would pretty much be able to be ignored and you'd eventually work your way into it because you'd have so many witches right there that you'd be able to just uh be a target overload and the single inferno wouldn't be able to keep up so the uh, queen is gonna break through the wall there step up take out the multi inferno and then get out of this one once again with a swag queen ability with a handful of witches surviving and unfortunately all the healers died but they survived just long enough to get him through you can also do this attack strategy with the quad quake and i will put a link right up there yeah, i posted it a few days ago and that was my last town hall 10 video with the uh, frozen witch with the quad quake and that's a different variation it is very good and if you have a center town hall then that one is probably the one that you would go for in that scenario so with that we got one more to look at and then we're gonna go do one live all right, guys, next up, the Queen Charge Laloon. The Queen Charge Laloon is where we're going to send in the Queen with five healers, and she's going to charge all the way into the base. Always an impressive attack to watch, and definitely one that takes a little bit of a skill. But when we run into a damage CC, this attack is made extremely powerful because the Queen is not going to get slowed down by a Hound at all. She's the only troop that's going to be entering the base, and if she has to fight off a Hound, it's going to delay her, and if she's under damage while she's fighting the Hound, then she She's going to have to stay alive and burn a rage to be able to deal with it if it's a damage cc we're pretty much going to be able to get one or two shots from her bring it down with the poison and it's not going to be a big deal so he forms the funnel with the king on one side and the queen to go right into the middle here with that baby dragon form on the other side of the funnel and he wall breaks into the base there finding a giant bomb with the wall breakers there but gets his poison down very nicely and is able to get through the cc with just a couple shots not causing any problems no delays and he can charge right into the base so that is why this works so well so he has a couple air skellies there going after his healers he's gonna have his queen turn back around and go after them and then she will continue on the base and he's gonna have a jump to carry her into the inferno and then he'll have a small lala to go push the rest of the base two hounds looks like he has 11 balloons and a stone slammer full of more balloons so he has that big troll tesla farm in the corner so he's gonna have to deal with that and we'll see how he does that in just a moment here but the queen is an engaged enemy queen still has a rage to spare and he's gonna be able to continue on quite far into the base there here comes the jump he loses one healer to a black mine the last rage comes down and he's gonna start into his lalu so the stone slammer comes down making sure there's no black mines right there by dropping one balloon first and now the stone slammer 
Summer will be able to join and wrap around the Queen as the Queen continues on and goes after more air defenses, more wizard towers, goes for the sweepers, and goes for an Inferno. Going to get some massive value out of him. He's going to have the Hound arrive at the air defense right before the air defense starts shooting that Stone Slammer to preserve its health. Going to be able to uh, work his way into the Inferno very quickly here with that uh, Slammer and avoid the other Inferno for just a little bit so he's not getting hit by both at the same time. Looks like the balloons bid, did backtrack a little bit there because he didn't get that mortar down but that gives it just enough time for the Queen to step up and take out the other Inferno and he has one more haste to carry him through and he still has the troops in his Stone Slammer so he's got so much firepower left remaining he's gonna be able to clean this one up no problem. I think the clock said it was like a two minute raid at the beginning of this one so a very very fast raid that Queen charge is going to be able to move very very quickly she's almost continuously raged as she moves through the base and with no hound in the cc she moves that much quicker and can get even more value so absolutely crush this one martini wolves bring it in big time and we have one last attack to go through today and we're doing it live so let's go check it out uh, we'll fast forward that and head on over All right, guys, the last attack we're looking at today is the Falcon, and we're going live in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so for Falcon, what we want to do is first, I want to push my queen to go join with the Valkyries, and we'll use the king out ahead. But we need to funnel her to go the direction we want, so we'll uh, wait till this archer tower is tanked, and we'll drop a baby dragon to go clear the funnel here. So that will push the queen towards the three o'clock corner, and then we'll join her with the king in a second. So we'll let this uh, baby dragon do its work here. Let the queen go off to the right. And we'll drop the king right up here. I'll put a wizard next to him to funnel him to go and join with the rest. So everything is in a funnel all to one point. And we should be able to move through very quickly into the base here. We'll pop a rage as we engage the enemy king here in just a second. And that should get us through that. And the king is doing a good job funneling everything on that side, so we should be able to release these Valkyries and they should go into the base. Queens through the king. All right, so let's get these Valkyries. Get the bullets. And if there's a damage CC, then we're gonna power right through it. So, looks like we got a dragon and some archers and uh, more Valkyries in there. So we'll get all the poison, we'll get a rage, get a heal, and let these Valkyries just carry through the base here. Looks like the queen is gonna get that dragon down very quickly. We've got another rage, another heal. Where do we wanna put that? Probably right here. All right, that's good. All right, so now let's use the stone slammer to go after this inferno. And we'll have some balloons come in on the side defenses here. And then as soon as that stone slammer opens up and dumps out some balloons, we will uh, haste them and just let them carry through. Looks like my balloons aren't really getting a lot there. Uh, they're going to get taken down by the Wizard Tower. We'll get a couple Wizards down for cleanup, and hopefully we'll be able to get enough out of this. We got the healers still alive, and the Queen is split off, but the King is holding the healers. Not a big deal there. We'll be able to have that Queen continue on while the King does some tanking in there, and the Bloons are carrying through. Continuing on there. We still got a Queen ability, so we're not anywhere close to over yet. And my king is hanging on with the healers there, tanking pretty much everything. Got a couple air skellies there following me. But the king and the balloons and the queen should have no problem finishing this one out with the wizards down for cleanup. I think we got ourselves a three star. And against WHF rising, the war of the day. Definitely a fun war here against a rival clan. So a uh, nice attack. And we'll bring in this three star and that's where we're gonna end the video today So guys go out there try these strategies whenever you see those damage CC's and bring them down And when you see those hound CC's stick to the skies guys stick to the skies But that's it for today. Make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one